What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Check out the website. Got all sorts of stuff going on over there. Hope you like the space news I did the other day. Um, I wasn't feeling that well all week. I had the worst cold. I'm starting to feel better. Summer cold. Who gets cold in the summer? But uh, you're looking at Sol 6. Uh, basically, I just sharpened this up a little bit. What is it, 632, I believe? Yeah, 632. Check out the description. It'll be linked if you want to download this video. I was looking through this one, and I, I'm going to make this real quick because, uh, you know, you can. Uh, it's kind of an anomaly. It's interesting to me either way. It looks like it's a horrible shot. There's all sorts of just interference in the picture, but there's some interesting uh, shapes in here that I've never seen so far. This is like some of the first. Uh, I've never seen them on Earth, and I've never seen them anywhere else, and maybe somebody that has, you know, has seen stuff like this on Earth can maybe inform me a little bit better, but here's the first one right here, and it's uh, got this piece that comes down. It starts here, and it comes on down to a point and it comes back up, and it the whole time it looks like it's got compartments. Like it's got one, two, three, and possibly four down there. But it looks like it should be turned upright and stuck into the ground. And uh, it would look like a cone or something along those lines. I don't know what to put that into earthly terms. But I just, for the surrounding area, I thought it was interesting. It, this looks like somewhere to me that's just been thrashed by war. Some, you know, and then just left for years and years for the dirt and the sand and all the sandstorms. And, and, and the, you know, the dust devils that just come and just, you know, move stuff around and, and basically bring all the sand up on top of everything. There's a lot of interesting stuff just in this one picture alone. Um, and you can do this from all of them. Also, I thought that this right here, this divot, this kind of like trench deal right there was kind of interesting. And then, of course, you've got this little rock next to it here, um, which is also next to this right here, which is kind of a weird shape. And then down here, it looks kind of uh, like the sun's coming through on a weird angle there. Let me do something. Let me do the auto color like I usually do. That does seem to bring it out a little bit more. And once again, um, if you watch my videos, I always say that there's NASA's blurring things. And here's my here's where I say how they're blurring things. You don't see these. Okay, look. Here's almost a nice looking shape here. And up at the top, it's got a little pointy thing. Now, see how there's a block blur that's been put on this? This this right here comes down under here. And it's got part. You can see that. See how you can see it? It may look, you know choppy but then you get you know the block blur block 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 one two three you know and uh then it lets go and then there's this white piece that comes through here and wherever you don't see the block you see shape you see or you see you know sharpness and then one two three more of them right there so it's almost like what's ever on the front there it's a real quick thing they just hit it with the with that blur, tap it a couple of times, and it really takes out. I mean, it just blends everything in. It looks like a normal rock, but to me, this this looks like something was something else here. So maybe something that stood up. Um, it maybe was part with this here, and this is just where it ended after all the you know, cataclysms and whatever happened up there, and whatever probably continuing to happen. Um, there's some interesting. Stay tuned for space news. I have some space news with a really interesting article coming about the new comet that's coming towards uh, towards Mars. But you always get it on the blocks. Now see, look, this block doesn't have it, but this one does. This is right in front of you. This here, nothing out here is blurred. You don't see any blur marks in here. But then up here where this one is, you see one, two. So it's it's being done systematically. It's just not a random issue. Um, like right here, the same thing. Down here, there's some really interesting. Look, see how that sharpness there? It's got a line, line, line. Then right across it. So if this maybe this was a geometric shape right here. This looks like it could have been a circle, and uh, it could have been maybe that was like writing on the side of it. We are being bl it's being blurred out, so you can't see it. Um, same with up here. Look how this this line kind of comes up like that, and this one runs parallel to it, and so does this. But we don't know what happens when it gets right to there. And there's really nothing, not many people can get that back. My guys over Olympus Sky and uh, Mars Anomalies, they're really good at getting some of these things uh, pulled out from behind it. But there's only so much you can do. Um, but this I thought was really cool right there. So that's number one. Uh, the only blur on there is right here down at the bottom. And it doesn't look like it was put on with the blur mark. I think that's just a little bit of a, uh, just a little bit of a, you know, just, just natural blur on there. There is naturally said it's I'm not saying that some of this stuff is natural. I'm just saying that some of it's being changed. 
Now, right here, I know my friends who are uh, the ET, the ones who are proponents of ETs on Mars now, which I'm still on the fence with. Like I said, I know you guys, I get a lot of slack from my buddies, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of you know, for the people who say, oh, it's so obvious, but here's what's obvious about this right here. You've got blur mark, blur mark, blur mark, blur mark, blur mark. So whatever here starts with a circle and there's some more up here, we're not allowed to see what this is. But right here, there's just looks like kind of a white head coming down. And like we matrix, our eyes want to see, you know, shapes like heads, human figures. That's what we're designed. It's supposedly a mechanism from our years of evolving. Um, but see how, see how you don't see these these blur marks anywhere out here. It's like, because they didn't have something to focus on. Whoever was doing it at NASA didn't have a block to focus on to do it. And there's nothing there that, this just looks like, you know, garbled up rock to them. They're saying, oh, there's no smoking gun there. And if there was, it would be done. See, look at the squiggly stuff in here. Interesting, all you know, very interesting planet. There's some sort of webbing or something that's, it, that whatever, however these rocks are, I, some of this stuff I don't think is rock. I think it's definitely, it's got to be something, because rocks don't, well, maybe they do on Mars, but not on Earth. I don't ever see them growing in, you know, S-shapes, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and then there's some interesting, like here, you got a nice cut through this line, and, and once again, you've got some straight lines that come through here. Nothing too outrageous. Um, but where you do get stuff, like right here, this piece right here looked like it could show something. And we're looking at something that's been a destroyed civilization. So there would only be bits and pieces of recognizable, you know, stuff here and there. So we're not, it's not like they're, it would make sense that you would see it only on top of the blocks, only in certain places, because, you know, maybe a lot of this, a lot of this junk, like my uh, Uncle Jake's junk here, maybe a lot of this junk you can't even see. Um, just because it's it's random, say it's a side of something, a side of a wall, or a side of a, who, who knows, you know, the technology that went on there. Um, up at the top here, you've got some interesting things. Now, also what I find kind of weird about these pictures lately is how the mountain always looks whited out, or if it's a grayscale, it's gray, it's gray cropped out. Like, we're not allowed to see what's up there. And does this does the actual, you know, the, the, the soil change that much as it comes from here to there? The earlier pictures, it doesn't. But the newer ones, this is what's going on. And here, once again, this is the, the one piece we didn't go over. Um, this thing, like I said, looks like it should be on its side, or maybe not, but it, just the shape of it, it looks very interesting. It's got two blur marks on it right there, one block, one block, and uh, maybe like a circle there or something, but just see how it's kind of uh, runs around. Just interesting. Um, next to it lays little thing that's got little, looks like three little beads. Mars is a fantastic place. Like I said, this isn't one of the uh, the smoking gun videos where we get something that's like, whoa. But this piece right here, whatever this is right here, it's very reflective compared to what's around it. Um, very, very reflective. If I took the, uh, let's, let's try something. Let's just do this real fast. Check this little piece out and I'll let you guys go. Um, adjust exposure. I'm just going to bring it down and see how see when we get you know you can still see that through when most of you can't see most of anything else it's pretty bright up here you've got some uh, interesting pieces you know just just whether this is pixelization since it's so far off in the distance look at the coloration of this stuff over here um, you've got what seems to be symmetry got Shapes, shapes, there's a circle, there's a circle, there's a, it looks like a rectangle right here that's got a little sphere on top of it. Um, and then above all this stuff, and this is just the weird part to me, see how it comes up over top of it like that, like almost like the, the stuff was placed, the background's placed into the picture. And, you know, some people say that all these pictures are fake. I, I, I happen to believe we got the rover there. Um, that's just my a humble opinion. I see what I see. I believe what I see. I believe, you know, and I, somebody had evidence of the contrary that was valid and it clicked with me. I would surely say, you know what? 
you're right. I'm wrong. And uh, I've done that plenty of times if you watch my videos. So here's also some interesting shapes here that just on the side of this mountain, see these circles that, that are like connected by little tubes or something like that. Lots of stuff going on, on that planet, but that's it for this one. This is not one I'm going to take a long time on it. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to be like, oh, you missed that thing. You got to go do this one. Here it's kind of interesting as well. And I'm kind of blowing through this one so you can hit pause. I'm not going to do these long ones on ones like this. I mean, this where where you don't have as clear enough pictures. Some of these we can get clear enough that we can do, you know, a little bit more in-depth analysis. But here I'm just looking for basic shapes. And this here looks like a basic, a very interesting basic shape. And it looks like it's connected all the way down to here. But we never know that because of the NASA blurring, which is annoying and should not be being done, especially to, you know, stuff that tax dollars paid for. So anyways, guys, what's up in the sky? 37 www.whatsupinthesky.com. Check out the website. Much love to you. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. TGIF. Lots of straight lines. See, that's no big deal. Straight lines are things when they hit the... Uh, it's when I hit those curves at 90 degrees where I start paying attention and then it goes in another 180 and it comes in and there's a cav there's like a little cavity in it. That's when I really start paying attention. So peace guys, much love to you.